Good morning, boys and girls. Imagine you were stranded in an island. Would you be able to save yourself? Or would you just sink? Or would you float? Who knows? Well, today you'll be able to find out. For this experiment and lab, we're gonna need you to have your science journal available, a pencil. Because today we're gonna be focusing on this teak. Okay, in your journal, you will need to write or copy down this anchor chart. You're gonna write on one side, sink, and on the other one, float. I'm gonna give you one minute to copy this down. Now, to introduce this experiment with you, I have Ms. Rodriguez and Ms. Gonzalez. Make sure you take notes. Come on. Okay, guys, good morning. Will good you morning. morning, buenos dias. We are going to present our experiment of today. Imagine that you are in the middle of this island, how Santana told you, and you have some materials to survive and create your raft. So let's go to present you these materials. Okay, imagínense que están en medio de una isla, como bien Santana os explicó, y tienen que cruzar hacia el otro lado del agua, pero no tienen una balsa, tienen que construirla. Vamos a enseñarles qué materiales pueden escoger para construir esa balsa y no hundirse en el agua. Ok, voy a presentarles en español qué material podrías escoger para construir tu propia balsa. Tenemos caucho, madera, plástico, metal y esta moneda de cobre. ¿Cuál escogerías para construir tu balsa y que no se hundiera. Piénsenlo. Okay, so we have this material to try to build our raft. So let's go to start with that. We have cork, we have wood, we have plastic, we have metal, and we have copper. So which one do you choose to build your raft? Let's go to paint. Okay, let's, let's see what's happened with its materials inside our world. Yeah. So let's go to start with the first material that we told you. We have the cup. So Caucho. One, a two, ver qué pasa. and three. Let's go. Oh, so it's in our float. Let's go to try to put it in our journal. So it floats. Okay. So you will write cork on the side of your chart where it says float. Float, flotar. Escribimos aquí caucho. Cork in English. You have to write in English. Remember that. Now, let's go to try with the good. What is going to happen? Wow! Wow! Again! You have float. So, let's go to write in our journal again. So your wood floats. So, you would be able to survive on your raft if you use mm -hmm. wood. Okay, now let's go to try with the metal, for example. What is going to happen with the metal? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, metal. now the metal... Do they sink or float? It's sink. You cannot survive. You went down, so you would sink. sink. Metal would sink, so it would not be best to build your raft using with metal. metal. No. no, please. Let's see what's happened with plastic. Wow. Yes. Interesting. So mm -hmm. you are going to have float again. You can so use plastic. In plastic, if you build your raft in plastic, you would survive as well. Interesting. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go with the last one, with the coin. So, what do you think about the coins? With the copper, let's go. Uh -oh. oh, you copper. are not going to survive. Mm -hmm. Don't use copper. So, I would write the word copper on the sink side. So, if I build my graph with copper, I would sink. I wouldn't survive. Exactly. So, now we would like to know if you build your Round. You can survive or not. Yeah. So once you have done your experiment, you can try at home with some materials and you will see if they can sink or float, depend on their mass. Mm -hmm. Espero que hayan aprendido si estos materiales flotan o no y que hayan escrito correctamente en inglés las palabras en su libreta. We see you in the next class. Bye bye, guys. See you. Bye. See you, see you in the next experiment.